Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey, as you all saw recently, I just took down my knotless braids, so it is time for another wash day. But before we get into today's wash day, please make sure that you are subscribed and be sure to hit that notification bell so you are notified every single time I upload a video. And if you enjoy the video, I'd greatly appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. But if you give me a thumbs down, nobody really cares because they can't see it anymore. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. So after about five weeks in my knotless braids, it is definitely time for a good clarifying session. So let's go ahead, jump in the shower and get started. So today's wash day routine started out just like any of my other wash day routines. Of course, if you are not new here, you know that I love to pre-poo before any wash day routine. I actually got tired and I left my pre-poo in my hair overnight. With me having my knotless braids in for over a month, I had a lot of product buildup. So I actually rinsed my hair with the warm water for several minutes. After saturating my hair in the warm water, it is time to go in with my first cleanse. To cleanse today, I'll be going in with the Nature's Little Secret Lemon and Rosemary Clarifying Shampoo. This shampoo is eight ounces and is marketed for all hair types. This shampoo has no sulfates, no parabens, no formaldehyde, no silicones, no artificial colors, no DEA, no phthalates, and there has been no animal testing. This product claims to remove dirt, oil, and product buildup while helping to fight dandruff and stimulate hair growth. This shampoo claims to be pH balanced and claims to have anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties that help keep the scalp healthy. Of course, to make sure that I'm getting a thorough cleanse, I'm splitting my hair into two sections and using the nozzle to apply the shampoo directly to my scalp. I also took a bit of the shampoo in my hands and lathered it down the length of my strands. As you can see, this shampoo has a fantastic lather and it has a really fresh, herbal, relaxing scent. As for some of the key ingredients in this shampoo, there is distilled water infused with lemon and rosemary, as well as aloe vera juice and essential oils. Of course, after working the shampoo thoroughly throughout both sections of my hair, I proceed to rinse with warm water. After thoroughly rinsing the lemon and rosemary clarifying shampoo, I then went in with a moisturizing shampoo that I'm actually testing offline. But no sweat, my pet. I'll make sure I report back about this moisturizing shampoo in a future video. For now, I'm going to do the exact same thing and lather the shampoo thoroughly throughout both sections of my hair before rinsing with warm water. After thoroughly rinsing my moisturizing second cleanse, I went in with the Mill Creek Botanicals Keratin Repair Formula Conditioner. And shout out to my sis Sheree Del Sol for putting us on. This protein treatment is 14 fluid ounces. It is vegan, paraben, and sulfate free. This keratin repair formula conditioner claims to improve elasticity and renew inner strength. And let me just tell you, honey, this smells a million times better than Apogee. And because it's a conditioner, it's not nearly as messy. As far as these ingredients, I really only need to read the top three. There's the ionized water, organic aloe vera juice, and hydrolyzed keratin. Now, of course, there are other ingredients in this conditioner, but baby, I'm here for the keratin, okay? Of course, I apply this very generously throughout my hair, making sure that I am coating every single strand. The directions say that you can leave this on for as little as one to two minutes, or if you would like a more intense conditioning, you can leave it on for five to 10 minutes. Because it's been a while since my last intense protein treatment, I actually left this on for about five minutes. After letting this protein treatment sit for about five minutes, I proceeded to rinse with warm water. Then I let my hair dry down in my microfiber towel for about 45 minutes before going in with a moisture and conditioner. I did not record this portion because the deep conditioner that I use is actually discontinued, but I'll make sure I leave some of my favorite moisturizing deep conditioners linked down below. So I'm all done with today's wash day routine. And here is how my hair is looking after my deep conditioner. Oh, I'm so happy to be back. And I touched up my color as well. It's it's obnoxious, but it's fine. It's gonna be fine. I actually wound up doing an OG technique and mixing in some of my hair color with the deep conditioner and 
10 out of 10 would highly recommend. And shout out to the OG influencer who put us on back in the day. I do not remember her name, but if I can find her Instagram account, I'm going to make sure I leave a picture and I'm going to link her down below. But anyway, let me go ahead and put my hair back up so we can wrap up today's wash day. Okay, so of course we started today's wash day like we start every single wash day. I did go in with a pre-poo concoction. And again, if you would like to see what I used to pre-poo my hair after removing my knotless braids, make sure you check the video linked in the cards. Now after rinsing my pre-poo and thoroughly saturating my hair with water, I went in with this Nature's Little Secret Lemon and Rosemary Clarifying Shampoo. As you can see, I barely used any of this shampoo, which I am extremely shocked by because it's a pretty runny consistency, but the texture of the shampoo kind of reminds me of dish detergent. A little bit of this shampoo goes a very long way. The lather went crazy, and this thoroughly removed the product buildup from my hair and scalp. Now, I don't know if it was my pre-poo or if this shampoo just contains some type of evil sorcery, but I was actually able to run my fingers through my hair with a clarifying shampoo. That is unheard of. Of course, I am going to have to use this again to see what this is really hitting for, but humbly based on my first impressions, 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. After thoroughly rinsing my first cleanse, of course I followed that up with my second cleanse because this is a double cleanse household. I followed up with a moisturizing shampoo that I'm actually testing for brand offline. And of course, like I said, I'll report back about that moisturizing shampoo in an upcoming video. Meantime, between time, make sure that you're subscribed with your notifications on. That way, when I update you on this moisturizing shampoo in a future video, you won't miss it. So after thoroughly rinsing my second cleanse, I went in with this Mill Creek Botanicals Keratin Repair Formula conditioner and again shout out to my good sis Sheree Del Sol for putting us on. If first of all this bottle is humongous. I think this was about 12 or 13 bucks on Amazon and of course I'll have it linked down for you below but this in my opinion is super affordable. You get so much product for such an inexpensive cost and guess what? It's also effective. As soon as this touched my hair I could feel the keratin in the formula going straight to work. And while it is a conditioner, just based off of my first impressions, I would not recommend trying to detangle with this because the keratin be keratinizing, okay? I didn't really get that much slip from it, but what I did get was some strengthening in my strands. What I did get was some elasticity. On top of the fact that you get so much bang for your buck, and on top of the fact that this was effective in my hair, this also isn't messy like other protein treatments, and it ain't stank. As far as I'm concerned, 10 out of 10 will highly recommend. Now, of course, after rinsing the protein treatment, I went in with one of my favorite but discontinued moisturizing deep conditioners. In that deep conditioner, I mixed in a little bit of my underlayer color because first of all, it desperately needed to be touched up. And second of all, we love a two for one moment here. Well, folks, that about wraps up today's wash day routine. Make sure you drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts. On your way to watching another video of mine, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Please, 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 please be safe and I'll catch you in the next one.